Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ways of the Sith. Thank you so much for taking time to check out the channel. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Ways of the Sith. So today, I have my first ever McFarlane purchase. Um, I was never into Spawn, never collected any of the DC figures, but when I saw these go up, I had to get them. Uh, Heath Ledger's Joker is my absolute favorite, um, so I, I had to have these on the shelf. Um, I did get Scarecrow as well, but for whatever reason, he was supposed to be delivered today, and he got delayed another couple weeks. So I decided instead of just holding off the whole review, I'll just do the review on these three. Scarecrow was the one I wasn't really crazy about, honestly. Um, I just wanted him to complete Bane, because Bane was one that I did want. But uh, let's get these open, let's check these out, and let's see how these McFarlands are. Alright, so first up, we got Harvey Dent Two-Face, and here is a look at the package. And it looks pretty cool. I honestly, like, am, am kind of hesitant to open these, because I like the way they look in the box. Like, they look really well. Um, I'm not really a fan of the multiverse packaging. That's why I've kind of stayed away from collecting this line. Um, previously, for those that don't know, most of my collection was all in box. So the the way stuff looks in box was always a big thing to me. Um, now that plastic free packaging is here, uh, that's kind of all out the window. But this does look really, really good. And, and I gotta say, just looking at all three of these in package, these are probably some of the best McFarlane's I've ever seen. Um, so let's get this open and let's take a look at Harvey Dent. All right, so this is interesting. Like I said, these are my first McFarlane, so all of this is new to me. Um, I love the fact that it includes a stand. Trading card, cool too. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, of cards. I know there's some people that, that go crazy and collect cards. Um, but the fact that it includes a stand, huge, huge bonus. Um, I remember as a kid, we used to get stands with everything, uh, especially G.I. Joe's, which would be a nice touch for current ones. Um, but yeah, this is nice. Nice little inclusion, especially for the price. Like this is something extra that you're paying for. So it's really cool that they're sealed in here too. So you do have to damage the, the packaging a little bit to get this, this open, um, unfortunately. All right, so here is the Build-A-Figure piece for Bane, and Two-Face comes with the torso. Uh, this looks cool. This is all rubber, soft goods, like, not soft goods, but rubber. Um, so there's no, it doesn't feel like there's, like, a abdomen or torso there. there. There is, like, joints, but these are just overlays. I don't know if you can see that very well. So the joints are in there, but this, these rubber clothes are just like overlays over the joints. Um, very interesting approach. Uh, let's see how this assembles and looks like when I start putting it together. Obviously, I'm going to be missing the arms because I don't have the scarecrow, but um, this is interesting, I, I have to say. All right, so here is a look at Harvey Dent Two-Face outside of the package. And I got to say, the likeness to Aaron Eckhart looks really, really good on the nice side. But then the detail on the flesh side, like, wow, I'm, I'm honestly surprised like they went that in depth on it. Uh, the coat looks great. The detail and the acid burn uh, on the coat itself just looks phenomenal. And the uh, the articulation on these and posability is actually pretty well. Like I said, first McFarland, so I'm not used to like what they look like. Really, really cool. My only complaint is that he doesn't have a gun. Um, would have been nice, but I know DC's or Warner Brothers, should I say, their rule about guns. Uh, I love the fact that he's got the coin though, like stuck in the hand. This way you can't lose it. He looks awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to look around in my GI Joe stuff and find a nice pistol for him to hold, but. This looks really, really good. Also, just to point out, McFarlane got the toe hinges on the figure. That's actually really impressive. And the fact that they bend that far. Uh, this is just a suited body. You know, like a regular Marvel Legend in a suited body. You're not going to get the greatest articulation. But with this, they really knocked it out of the park. Like, 
double double elbows, double knees, butterfly joints, hinges on the toes. Like, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Also, I found a really good pistol for uh, Two Face. I used the Major Blood pistol, so that looks perfect in my opinion. Like, yeah, this is all that it needed to come with. Otherwise, this figure is absolutely perfect. I really have to say, this is probably the best Two Face I've ever seen. All right, so next up, let's take a look at the Dark Knight himself, Christian Bale. And this looks really cool. Um, I know, like, from this shot, it looks black, but there's a lot of gray in the figure, um, which kind of caught me off guard because from the promo pictures, everything looks black, but there is a lot of gray. Uh, you'll see it more, I think, once I get it out of the package. But he comes with three batarangs, comes with the grappling hook, and comes with the legs for Bane. So really, really cool. Um, I love that they, you know, show the, the imagery on the back of everything, which is cool. And then I also noticed on the, um, on the Harvey that they included a QR code for DC Universe Infinite. Um, so I guess, I'm not sure if they give you anything free for purchasing the McFarlane's, but um, they do give you the code to download the app, which is pretty cool. So let's get this open and let's take a look at Batman. All right, and here is our look at Batman. And he looks really cool. I, I dig this. Um, like I said, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but there is a little bit of gray into the costume. Um, he does, unfortunately, only come with these two hands. So it would have been nice to get some extra hands with it, uh, especially for the grappling gun. It would have been cool to be able to like, display him holding the grappling gun and the batarangs. Um, the only other thing that I could probably complain about is the fact that this grappling gun does not have like a hook or attachment on it. So he can actually like store on his belt, which would have been nice because now you basically just have to, you know, display with one or the other. You don't really have options to, I mean, I'm sure you could tuck the batarangs like into his belt, but the gun, you, you really can't. So unfortunately, that's the, one of the complaints. And then the other complaint is this heavy rubber cape. Um, especially when the Keaton got soft goods. I know why the Keaton got soft goods, so it can fit in the cockpit. But it would have been nice if this was the first one to get that soft goods treatment. Um, it does look really, really good, though. Um, definitely a definitive version of the Dark Knight from those movies. The only other hampering aspect is the shoulder pads. They basically prevent the arm from coming up any further. You can, you know, raise the arm. And then they gave you these hinges on, like, the, the, the lower arm. So you can kind of tilt the arm out a little bit. Um, this way you can pose him holding the, the batarangs and stuff like that, but it looks really cool. Um, definitely a good likeness to Christian Bale. Um, I like it. Uh, I'm definitely, you know, definitely liking this look. And then Batman comes with the legs for Bane. So I'll take the Bane body and we'll try to just pop those legs in. I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Like I said, this is just a rubber overlay over the actual joint pieces oh it's gonna take a lot of strength to uh pop these in i think okay that one's in so bane is a big boy guys really big you can you can tell you know as soon as i put the legs on this damn yeah he's gonna stand a lot taller than everybody um here's batman for scale next to bane so you can see you know once i put the head on and he's got some arms he's gonna be a nice scale proportion to batman so that'll be a really, really nice touch. Like I said, this this middle is just bugging me out because there's nothing there. Like for Bane, you would expect this big, like chunky body and there's nothing there. Like it's just rubber overlays, like I said, as the lower half of the pants and the vest. So very interesting choices. My guess is, you know, to cut back on costs a little bit. But still, very, very strange for a Build-A-Figure, you know, to, to not really have, like, a torso. It's got the articulation, but not actually have, like, a torso piece. <laughs> and last but not least, let's take a look at this Heath Ledger Joker. And I'm already super impressed with it. Like, he nailed the likeness to Heath. Um, I think this is probably, like, the best Joker he's done 
Um, this looks really, really good. I love the card that's included with it. Uh, he comes with Bane's head and multiple hands, and then comes with the stack of money, which is, um, I guess it's also got a foot peg on it. So it, it almost doubles as a stand too, which is nice. Uh, but let's get this open and let's check this out. I was born in a dub. You merely adopted it. <laughs> that was my best Bane impression. <laughs> but this looks cool, man. I really, really like the, the, the head sculpt. And it looks really, really good. Now I just need the arms to complete it. But here, for size comparison, he is bigger than Batman. Um, so he can wrap him up. More than likely, I might probably display him holding Batman over his, <laughs> over his head. Like he's going to break his back. But really, really cool with Bane. And finally, here is our look at Heath Ledger's Joker. And this looks amazing. Like I said, Todd nailed this figure perfectly. It's got the chain. It looks so good. The only thing it's missing is a knife. Um, I don't know why he couldn't include a switchblade. I, I didn't think that was against the rules. But something else I noticed is this figure doesn't have the torso either. Um, so just like Bane, this is all covered up with over rubber overlays. And it's just the joints. There's no actual, like, torso piece. So very, very strange design. Um, I guess that's saving him on costs in the long run. But this looks cool. This looks really, really cool. Um, the only thing that would have been better was if this coat was soft goods. Oh, man, this, this figure would have been out of the park. But, yeah, this is a perfect iteration. If you're a fan of Heath Ledger or Joker in general, you need this figure on your shelf because it's, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And here is the stack of money that he comes with. And I'm sure people are going to be, you know, depending on how many they bought, you can build the tower or, you know, you can use this for figure photography pretty much with anybody, which is going to look great. Uh, Destro, you know, with his bills on fire, you could have him lighten this up or whatever. Really, really cool. Nice touch. Uh, great accessory to have with Joker. And like I said, it does have a foot peg on it. So you can just display him actually standing on the money, which is pretty cool. Like it's just a background piece or use that as the display for him. So really, really nice touch. All of these look awesome. Um, Bane looks incredible. I'm really, really impressed with these. Like I said, Scarecrow wasn't too crazy about getting him because I didn't like the way he looked. They kind of mashed up a couple different versions of Scarecrow from both movies. And that's kind of what they did with him. Um, but I wanted to put Bane together, so I had to pick him up. But really, really dig this. This is probably my favorite figure out of the whole wave, though. Just because this is the one, personally, I, I really, really wanted. So, awesome, awesome job on these McFarlands. Alright, so that'll do it for today. Overall, like I said, I am really a fan of these three figures and the Bane Builder figure. That not having a torso thing is still a little weird to me. But I guess with the rubber overlays, that's Todd's way of like saving money. If he's going to be putting rubber pieces over it, why not just leave it exposed? I guess that's the mind state instead of, you know, spending more money on putting plastic there. So I get it. Um, it doesn't hinder anything. It actually still works with the articulation and everything like that. So overall, I highly, highly recommend that if you see these in the wild or they're still available online to order, I, I know a lot of these sold out, you know, the first time. I would highly, highly recommend picking these up. Absolutely. Um, they're just phenomenal. They, they look really, really great. And if you're a fan of these Dark Knight movies, I think this is a must-have display. Um, this is my McFarlane collection right now. So Batman is just going to go up on the shelf. Um, I did order the Batmobile and a Michael Keaton. So when I get those, I will probably just put them all together on one shelf. Um, and then that will be the, the basis of my McFarlane collection. Uh, I think if they do a uh, Michelle Pfeiffer or a Jack Nicholson, obviously I need to pick them up or um, a Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga from the upcoming Joker. I will probably pick them up as well. Now that I kind of have an idea of like how these McFarlands are made and, and you know, how they look, 
I'm really loving these. Um, for the price point, for what's included, like I said, I just would have loved a gun for Harvey and a knife for, for Joker. Maybe Todd does like a Batman accessory pack, um, which would be nice because a lot of the guns and stuff in the regular accessory pack, I don't really need. Um, so it would be nice just to get like kind of a more centric accessory pack. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, there could be some minor improvements on these, but otherwise really, really a huge fan. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And thank you so, so much for taking time to check this out. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, may the force be with you. We would be honored.